Greetings everyone. It's always a pleasure to talk to you again about something. And today we are going to talk about procurement law. Procurement law notes. And we are going to begin with uh, what is procurement. Procurement definition. Uh, this is the acquisition of goods, services, or works from an external source. Acquiring goods from an external source. A source that is outside that particular entity. That's the general meaning of procurement. What is public procurement? It is a process that public entities such as national and county governments and their apartments go through to acquire or purchase goods and services. Procurement is a crucial element in the working function of any state as it is used for purchasing of goods and services in the right quality, from the right source and at the right price to meet a specific customer need. Very important. And briefly, let's go through the roles of public procurement. It enables the government to deliver services to the public by ensuring timely access to quality goods and services at fair prices. Number two, it applies to corporate entities and NGOs or any other businesses should be accordingly noted that, that public procurement applies to corporate entities, NGOs, and government enterprises. Another role of public procurement is that it ensures efficiency in government operations by promoting competition among bidders. Yes, competition among bidders, because you are not limited to one particular bidder. You open up the bidding process. You may find that around 10 companies may bid, may bid. And out of the 10, you may pick out one, thus picking out the best. That's what we mean by efficiency. It also promotes local industry and economic development. If you limit it to the local industry, the local industry will definitely devolve. It should be noted that public procurement is the main process through which both the national and county governments operate and spend public money. Public money. Now I want us to go through some brief definitions In the PPD Act, PPD Act, that is of the Republic of Uganda, the Public Procurement and Dispose of Assets Act, there are some definitions which arise out of the definition section, the interpretation section, and we want to begin by defining a bid under the Act. But it means an offer to provide or to acquire works services or supplies of any combination thereof and shall include pre-qualification where applicable. And then we have the definition of a bidder. It means a physical or artificial person, a physical, a human being or artificial person. An artificial person may be a company because a registered company under the law attains what we call legal personality or artificial personality and can enter into contractual obligations. So we are defining a bidder as a physical or artificial person intending to participate or participating in, in public procurement or disposal proceedings. And then bidding documents, it means solicitation documents. Solicitation documents. And then bid notice, that it means any advertisement, it may be in the newspapers, on 
the internet, any advertisement by which eligible providers are invited to submit written offers to provide or acquire works, services and supplies, or any combination of them in case of procurement and disposal respectively. And then contract, the definition of the con of a contract under the PPD Act, that it means an agreement between a procuring and disposing entity and a provider resulting from the application of the approved procurement or disposal procedures and proceedings as the case may be. Concluded in pursuance of a bid award, decision of a contracts committee or any other appropriate authority. And then this definition of disposal, that it means the divestiture of public assets, including intellectual and proprietary rights and goodwill, and any other rights of a procuring and disposing entity by means including sale, rental, lease, franchise auction, or any other combination. And then the definition of procurement, that it means acquisition by purchase, rental lease, higher purchase, license, tenancy franchise, or any other contractual means of any type of work, services or supplies, or any combination. And then procurement process. It means the successive stages in the procurement cycle, including planning, choice of procedure, measures to solicit, offers from bidders, examination and evaluation of those offers, award of contract and contract management. Then briefly, I want to take you guys through the origin of the PPD Act, that is, of the Republic of Uganda. That is, it is an act to establish the public procurement and disposal of public assets authority. It was put into place to bring into the existence of the public procurement and disposal of public assets authority. It was also put into place to formulate policies and regulate practices in respect of public procurement and disposal activities and other connected matters. It also provides for the statutory framework of procurement law in Uganda. In Uganda. And then, briefly, let's go through the establishment of the authority. The establishment is under Section 5, and I'm limiting myself to Section 5.1, which is to the effect that there is an establishment, autonomous body known as the Public Procurement, and this pose of Public Assets Authority. The above body, the above body corporate with perpetual succession, that the above body is corporate, Corporate meaning that it is a legal entity. It attains what we call an artificial personality with perpetual succession, a common seal, and is capable of being sued in its name. This therefore means that the body is a recognized company under the laws of Uganda where it derives its powers from under the act. Objectives of the authority. Lastly, let's look at the objectives of the authority, that is the PPDA authority, which is established under section five. These are reflected upon under section six of the act and include the following. To ensure the application of fair, competitive, transparent, non-discriminative, and the value for money procurement and disposal standards and practices. Number two, to advise government and other entities of procure on procurement and disposal 
policies. Number three, to set standards for public procurement and disposal systems in Uganda. Number four, to monitor compliance of procuring and disposing entities. And, that's, and lastly, number five, to build procurement and disposal entities in Uganda. Once again, I would like to thank you for this opportunity to speak to you. I know you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. And in case of anything, don't hesitate to call me. Or my telephone contact is 0772-374-437. Be blessed.